first of all we're going to open padcard 3 which we just installed at this point we don't have any database so we'll have to make a new one we do that by clicking new database up the top and select we enter our database name this time we call it Imona test 3 and I'm saving it in desktop as you can see that's the file path it's important that you understand and remember this file path just in case you want to back it up in a USB or in a hard drive next up we have to then add a new test instrument in this case we're using the prime test elite so we choose prime test elite from the drop down box and we enter the serial number just press OK when you finish now we also have to change what's on the setup we can change the company name in this case I'm going to use Imana Instruments we can put in the address and also choose a logo if you click on browse you can choose your logo these changes will be reflected when you create the report we also have to make sure on pad options text line 1 2, 3, and 4 need to match with what, with what you have on the tester. Okay, now on USB download, you can use the USB cable. In this case, we're going to grab the tester, click on menu, and press number 5 for download. We then plug in the USB cable and the other end of the USB cable plugs into the computer. You can then press save or we can filter. Press F2 to filter. You can select the test, today's work or everything between a certain date. In this case, I'm just going to use save all all the results that I have on the tester. Now it says copy data onto your PC. As you can see there, there's a new drive called Elite. That's the prompt test Elite drive. You can open the folder and that's the file download, Apollo download.gar. You can copy that across to your documents folder, for example. Copy and paste it. then just have to click on open file go to the documents folder and change the file type to downloads.gar as you can see from the screen if you scroll down you will see the Apollo download file and just click open on it and just process it as you can see on the left those are our results on, and on the right you will see the test results. There's also another method USB memory stick download. This is very easy. You just have to enter or plug in the USB stick as you can see and just press save all. There's also an option to filter just like before but in this case we're going to just save all the results. I'm going to just say yes override the existing result I remove the memory stick and just plug it into my PC. Now you'll see the disk, and if you open our memory stick, you'll see a new folder called Apollo Download, and in that folder, you'll see the GAR file. So all we need to do is just open that file again. This time it's in the removable disk area. And remember to change the file type to downloads.g and just open it. Press OK and process. It's the same process, just a bit easier. And you'll see the side on that right hand side. Now for reporting, In this case, the results we have our site, 
indicated by the house, Imauna, and various locations, computer room, engineering, etc. And if you click on reports, the most common reports is concise latest test results. That's what we're going to use. Double click on it. You can choose the site or you can just click all. In this case, we're going to use the site name Imona. And it's important that we select the right date. So for example, in this in this example, we have 1st of August till today's date, which is 8th of August. And just press OK. And the software program will generate the report automatically. And you will see on the screen here. Yes. You can also save it in a PDF file. In this case, we call it report 2. We're saving it. You can choose the location in the desktop. If you close it down and we'll go to the desktop, you'll see that report 2. Open it up and you can then send it across by email or just save it in as a backup file. Moving on to uploading results, you use this uploading results to take information back to the tester from the software program. So if you go back to the menu on the Prime Test Elite, click on 7 Upload. We're going to use the USB cable. So, for example, we're going to put the information from Site Imona back to the tester. We click on the Upload to Tester button. And we have to use the USB cable. You plug it in. And put the other end to the PC. Okay, now we'll go back to the computer. Now we should be able to see the Elite Drive. As you can see there, Drive F. If you press refresh, you'll see the Elite Drive F can be selected from the unit drive. You can also select the email site to be uploaded and just press OK. Now you can press the green tick button and select the upload.gay file and just press save. In this case, I'm going to press yes, add to existing data. You can also click on no if you don't, you just want to create a new upload data. And there you go, you've got your test results in the tester.